Hey, welcome back. Today I am coming through with a DIY Christmas ornament decoration video. Wow, that was a mouthful. But basically I have two different ornaments that I want to share with you all made with Dollar Tree supplies. The first one is the Starburst ornament that you see here on the smaller tree. It is a smaller scale ornament. Or if you want big, I can do big. This large ornament or these large ornaments um, are kind of like a spiral type ornament still made with Dollar Tree supplies. So if you are interested in seeing how I got here, stick around. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to be using toothpicks for the Starburst ornament and make sure you use some parchment paper because we will be using hot glue and you need to be able to remove it. So I'm cutting my toothpicks in half and I'm going to need like 10 toothpicks cut in half to make 20 halves. I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot of hot glue in the center here and I want this to dry just a little bit. Take one of those halves and point first, stick it into the glue, hold on to it until it dries. It's going to take a little time. And then go ahead and place the other halves around this in like a starbursty shape. Is that a word? All right, eventually the glue will start to dry so you can kind of shape this how you want and once the glue is completely dry you're gonna have to add glue to the halves to put it inside of that little starburst shape there. So once you have your half complete go ahead and make up about nine more of those because for me I needed ten of them because I have five stems. What do I mean by stems? these flowers right here. I picked up this flower from the Dollar Tree and um, this flower for me has five stems. Now I know there are some that has less stems so it depends on the one you pick up. Go ahead and remove all of the little petals and leaves from it because all we care about is the stem. So once you have the stems all to themselves, you want to go ahead and take your starburst and with some hot glue, glue one half on at a time. It's okay if the stem sticks up a little bit, it just looks like another spike on the starburst. You should end up with something that looks like this. Depends on how full your um, starburst is. Go ahead and do this for the rest of your, your starburst until you have all of the stems covered. Okay, okay, so this is what you have once you have all of your starbursts glued onto the stems. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these gold because gold is your girl's color. <laughs> okay, so I will be right back once these are gold. And just like that, camera magic. Okay, so these are so cute gold, but I have to glam it up just a bit more. I need glitter. Yes, glitter. So let's get started. I got a glove on my hand because it was easier to apply this glue onto the little spikes than using what I was using, like a toothpick. So if you can do this, do it. Otherwise, toothpicks will work out fine to put the glue into those little grooves. All right, so once you have enough glued applied to it, glued, glue applied to it, go ahead and add your glitter. After a couple of attempts to try to add this glitter to this thing, I had to come up with an easier solution. and. This makes so much more sense. So I grabbed a Ziploc bag, threw some glitter in there, took my Starburst, poured some more glitter inside the bag, zipped it up and shook it really good. And then I had a flawless coverage. So I went ahead and did the rest of the starburst and this is how it turned out these are so cute so this is one ornament with a bunch of little springy starburst things on each stem and um, you can make several of these and put them position them throughout your tree but since I did not have my larger tree up yet I had to settle with a smaller one to display this for you and this is what you have Okay, ornament number two, we have our parchment paper 
and we have popsicle sticks. This one is truly easy. Um, you just basically take a pack of popsicle sticks. All you need from this pack is about 33. I have 16, 16, and then one additional that's in the middle to hold my hook. So I'm just gonna take, grab a popsicle stick and then take my hot glue gun, put a bead of hot glue in the middle, down the middle of the stick, and then take another stick and place it right on top of the, the hot glue. But what I wanna do is take it and spiral it just a little bit so you wanna offset it, um, sort of like a fan, so that you see the, the popsicle stick underneath the top one on both ends. You go ahead and do this again for the next stick and the next stick. And eventually your your ornaments start looking like this, like a true spiral. You see how it's kind of staggering off like steps? Go ahead and finish this up until all of your popsicle sticks are gone. Once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this. What color? Gold, of course, and I'll be right back. And they're gold now. Now, um, depending on how neat you are with your glue, you might end up with a lot of glue marks that you see here, like on mine. Um, for me, it was okay because I'm gonna cover half of mine with glitter, but if you don't wanna use glitter, you might wanna be a little more neat with your glue. Now, I need to put a hole in the center of um, the popsicle stick. So that's where that 17th stick come from, that middle one, um, so that it can hold my hook that hangs on the Christmas tree. So I count over 16 and then the 17th one becomes my hole. And I'm just using a, a little, a nail, just, in, just sticking it in there, trying to pry it in there until it goes through. It might split the wood, but that's okay. You're gonna be using glue there so it will it will hold the, the hook just fine. So I'm applying my glitter with some glue and I'm only doing the glitter on one half of the ornament. So it's kind of hard to explain that because it's a spiral, but you will notice that one half of your or ornament is pointing one way and then the other half is pointing the other way. You'll kind of see it once I apply the glitter. All right, enough with the glitter already. I am all done here. Isn't that dramatic? I like how one half, it adds dimension. One half is glitter, the other half is gold. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a big enough Christmas tree to show the, how this looks on the tree to you guys, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm in Happy Lobby right now because I don't have my big Christmas trees up quite. Well, I don't have them up yet. I'm not gonna put them up until closer to Thanksgiving. But I knew Hobby Lobby would. So what better way to display my ornaments? So I brought them here so that I can put them on these Christmas trees and let you see how they look. So give me just a second. Shout out to Hobby Lobby for having those Christmas trees up before Labor Day. Yeah, I am so appreciative that I was able to use their Christmas tree to display my ornaments for you guys. But what do you think? These ornaments are so glam. They're super cute. I'm loving them. I'm loving the glitter on one side and the gold on the other. I hope you guys love them too. And if you do love them, and if you are planning on doing anything with these, trying them yourself, go ahead and leave a comment below. Also, tag me in any pictures. I would love to see what you guys decide, because yours don't have to be gold. They can be any color. This is just the color I'm decorating with. Also, I will have other videos um, coming this season for Christmas DIY, so if you want to get those notifications, make sure you subscribe, and then also ring the bell to get the notifications. And that's all I have for you guys. So until next time, take care.